Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to count unique values in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you several examples and all of these examples rely on the example vector that we can create in line 2 of the code. So if you run this line of code you will see that a new vector object appears at the top right of RStudio and this vector object contains several numeric values whereby some of these values are repeated within the vector. So let's assume that we want to know how often each of these unique elements is contained within our vector x. Then we can apply the table function as you can see in line 5 of the code. So if you run this line of code, you will see that at the bottom in the RStudio console, some output is created. And this output is showing how often each of our values is included in our vector. So in this example, the value 1 is contained in the vector three times. The value 2 is contained in the vector once. The value 3 is contained in the vector twice and the values 4 and 5 are both contained in the vector one time. Yeah, so based on the table function you can already see how often each unique value is contained in our example data. However, I want to show you two additional examples in which I'm representing this table in a prettier format. So in example two, I'm going to combine the table function, as you have seen already in example one, with the sdata frame function. So if we wrap the sdata frame function around the table function, then our output looks, as you can see here in the RStudio console at the bottom. And this time um, we have created a data frame. And the first column of this data frame is containing the values of our data. So uh, the values 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And uh, the second column of this data frame is containing the frequencies of each value. So as you can see, the, the output values of this data frame are exactly the same as in example 1. But this time, our frequencies are represented in a data frame. In example 3 of the video, I want to show you an alternative to example 2, um, which is based on the aggregate function. And uh, within the aggregate function, we can also uh, specify that we want to create a data frame, which is showing the frequencies. So if you run these three lines of code, you will see that um, more or less the same data frame is returned as in example 2. But the difference here is that we were able to specify the names of the columns of our data frame. So in this case we decided to assign the name value to the first column which is showing the values of our original data and uh, then we decided to assign the name count to the frequency column. So which of the example codes you use in your own application is, I guess, a matter of taste. However, in this video you have learned how to count the unique values in your data in the R programming language. If you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the R programming code of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of this video so you could check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.